back out here at the Great Lakes Science Center. And right now, what we want to talk about, you know, we, we, we've been saying this whole event is going to be between 1 and 4 with the max at 2.30. So kind of step us through what's going to happen in that time. Yeah, definitely. Well, first thing that we have to mention is one of the stars of our show, the sun is starting to make an appearance. So good morning from Great Lakes Science Center. So this disc is going to represent the sun, what we typically see. Obviously, it's not flat, it's a sphere, but what we see is one side of it. And what'll happen today is the moon, not to scale, it's not the same size as the sun, it's actually 400 times smaller, is going to start to pass in front of the sun, between the earth and the sun. And where we'll get to Cleveland is essentially about an 80% coverage, and then the moon is gonna continue to orbit around the earth. So we're still going to see a sliver of the sun. It's gonna look kind of like a crescent moon, mm -hmm. but it'll be the sun. Since we'll still see the sun, safety, we cannot express enough how important safety is. Make sure that if you have the Eclipse Viewing Glass is there the appropriate ISO certified, no sunglasses, no 3D glasses, or you can look at the shadow through a pinhole viewer. Okay. With 80% coverage, how dark is it going to get? We probably will still see quite a bit of light here in the Science Center. So it might get a little bit overcast, kind of like a cloudy day, if you will. So we'll still see the sun. We're not going to be able to see things like the stars and other planets that come out in total darkness, like in that area of totality or at night even here. So it'll start about 106. We're probably not going to be able to appreciate much difference in the light that we see at peak at 231. We'll start to see it get a little bit cloudy, like a cloudy day, a little bit dark. And then by 351, back to the sun. All right.